will be installing an OCZ Vertex 460 240 gigabyte solid state drive into my early 2011 MacBook Pro. First, you want to make sure you have a little small screwdriver. I got this one free with my purchase of an LCD screen for my Samsung Galaxy S5. Okay. The most important thing about this are the three long screws located towards the back. One long screw, two long screw, three long screw. Besides that, all of these are the same small little short screw. Now I have the Vertex 460 ready to get installed. As of right now, I've been doing it one hand, so I'm gonna set it down so I can get this part done. As you can see, the Vertex 460, SATA connector goes in, push and play. We align these up with here. We're gonna want to actually make it go this way. And then we align it with the hose, push it in, make sure it goes nice and deep into that hole. And then we let it set. Oh, it came out the hole. It was too loose. So now, get it nice and tight. Perfect. I got to get Okay, now we're gonna get our black piece, set it like this, get back with the one hand action. Okay, so you're gonna want to put the bracket back on, and since I'm doing it with one hand, I already set it in, and then you want to press down on it so you can make sure it's Nice and tight. Do this side already. Right now. I'll pour it down. I need two hands for this one. Okay, when you're pushing this, you want to push this down while you screw to make sure it's nice and tight. Nice and tight, nothing falls out. Now we're ready to put back the metal casing. Okay. I personally always like to start off with the long screws to get them out the way. One long screw, two long screws, and number three. Press down on this as well, make sure it's nice and tight. Not too hard, but enough to make sure it's nice and it goes in all the way.